Jupiter-sized planet has been detected orbiting around an Earth-sized star. Wait, wait what? Where did that came from? Hello everyone and welcome to Astro Rocks. Thousands of exoplanets have been detected till now, but this is something that we have never seen before. A giant planet revolving around a smaller star. We have always observed the opposite of it, a big, uh, a, a big star and a small planet. That is usually the case, isn't it? So the exoplanet that has been detected is named WD 1856b around a white dwarf WD 1856-534. So what is a white dwarf and how did we discover this? What is, it, what is it all about? So let's take example of the sun here. Uh, something similar might happen to the sun. So what do we know? The estimated lifetime of sun is around 10 billion years and its current age lies somewhere between 5 billion years. So it's, it's in, in the middle of its age and in around 5 billion years from now, it would have grown so much in size and after that it will die. Now, what do we know? We know that, you know, in the next 4 to 5 billion years, the sun would have grown very much in size and it will have turned into a red giant and the size would have grown so much that it would be uh, you know, going beyond the orbit of Mercury and Venus, it would have grown so much in size. So these planets would have been, you know, long gone. Earth would be safe, but you know, because uh, because the sun is so close to the Earth now, so there might be some changes and obviously life won't be existing because the temperature would have risen so much. But you know, uh, the planet might or might not be intact, that depends. We do not know it for sure. After 5 billion years, when the sun will explode, at that time, the planets, the rocky bodies, all of them would have just, you know, evaporated because of the the energy that is coming out from the sun and you know everything would have just disappeared and that is that is what scientists used to believe that you know no uh, planets like the rocky planets that are near the star they can survive this kind of explosion when a star dies and after the sun has died after 5 billion years it would have turned into something different uh, a white uh, you can say ball a white dwarf it won't be releasing as much energy, uh, there won't be you know, uh, much heat coming from, much light. It, it would be just existing there and the temperature would have dropped down a lot. The mass would have decreased, the size would have decreased even more, increasing the, increasing the density. So that is how it will be behaving. Now this, this uh, planet that we have discovered is similar to Jupiter. The star has actually half the mass of our sun but its size is you know comparable to earth so you can see how how much density that is so white dwarfs are very dense they are very small and this planet has been detected orbiting around as close even closer than mercury so how can that happen how can a rocky planet be revolving around a white dwarf because before becoming a white dwarf the star would have exploded and would have cleared everything in its way up to some extent where the rocky bodies lie where the rocky planets lie so how can this planet survive first of all now first thing first we have never detected an exoplanet around a white dwarf so it is you know something special on its own and what we had detected till now is just debris uh, revolving around a white dwarf. So that debris is, you know, assumed that it was formed when the stars when the stars would have exploded. So all the rocky, either the rocky planet or the gaseous planets, asteroid, whatever there was, it has now just exploded itself and it has, you know, gotten into small, small parts and it's a debris just surrounding here and there never uh, we have never detected something as intact as a rocky planet revolving you know in such a tight orbit around the whole star so one possible explanation is why did this happen is maybe the planet was not of this uh, of this system but maybe somewhere from the else so this particular system of wd1856 plus 
534 is actually a triple star system. So there are three stars close to each other and one of them is a white dwarf. So maybe this planet uh, was from the other stars and you know when the when the explosion happened and after it's a white dwarf maybe because of the three interacting gravitational field it would have just drifted here and there and ended up so close so that would be one thing that it is a rogue planet or it is a planet of of some other solar system so the other possible explanation is maybe the planet was formed near this star but there were other massive planets so because this is a massive planet as you know uh, size of the jupiter so there maybe there were other massive planets along with itself and maybe they were pulling on each other and stuff and maybe the orbit would have the trajectory would have been like like an elliptic until the time it came back the sun would have just gone nova and now it's normal so maybe because of the gravitational influence of other massive planet in this in the system the star could have drifted like back and forth and now it's like so damn close to the star there are many possible explanation like there could be many things not just these two scenarios but others as well and what does this mean for us this means till now we were looking for habitats for potential life around uh, red dwarfs or you know normal kind of middle age stars like sun but nobody had thought that we can detect planets around a white dwarf because simply because when they explore they would just take everything on like along with them so there were no habitable zones but now after this discovery after this strange interesting discovery we have like upgraded our bar of habitable zones that you know the places in the universe where we can find life so that is interesting because nobody really thought that there could be planets so close to the white dwarfs but now we have detected one so that's that's a cheers have you heard the news a big planet has been discovered around a small star